I'm experiencing a mysterious problem with the Dell Optiplex 9020. I'm using it in a dual hard drive configuration where the um, two of the SATA ports are being used um, and there's no CD drive, DVD drive. Um, I'm just using a 256 gig um, SATA drive, solid state. And I'm also using a one terabyte SATA mechanical drive. And this particular system only has one internal power connector right here. And then there's also a special dedicated wire for a CD DVD drive. I can't use this. Apparently it's possible to make this work. Um, but so I've got this one connector and then Dell makes a Y adapter cable. We got one socket on this end that then divides into two on the other end to plug into the drives. And the drive sled has room for two two and a half inch drives in it. So this appears to be a supported configuration to have two two and a half inch drives and the DVD CD drive up here. There are three sockets here. There's a, the blue, black, and white. So apparently the system should be able to support two two and a half inch drives plus the CD DVD, but that does not work for some reason. Um, I periodically get a problem here. Uh, hold on, let me go over here. Okay. Periodically, the system will crash, and I'll get the sad face in Windows 10, and when it reboots, it says no bootable device is found. And if we press F2 to go into the setup utility, and then we go to, uh, let's see, uh, I believe that is in system configuration, drives. If we look at this, see it shows nothing for SATA 0. Nothing is present. Uh, and there is a drive plugged in. It was working, but it just drops it periodically. So there's the one terabyte mechanical SATA drive. That's working fine. So uh, now we're going to go over and look at the machine here. It's in a rack. Just for test purposes, here it is, and as I mentioned, it's got the two drives in it here. The mechanical is on top and the SATA is underneath, and um, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, See, now it detected it. And now it's booting off the internal drive. So, what's going on here? It's mysterious. The drive will periodically just disappear as a available SATA device, but turn it off and turn it back on and it works. And this is actually the second Dell 9020 that I've tested that's doing this. So is this a, a problem with the BIOS? Um, it's got the most recent available for these, which is, I believe, is A24 for mid-2019. So um, it's mysterious. And I currently have no solution for this.